Christmas Samba Day 5, Savagery and Innocence to See. The match is coming up in just a few hours. How are you feeling? I'm sorry, I think I still need some more time. Please, don't apologize. Honestly, I'm sorry that I couldn't do more to help. If you were a normal human, I could have used a purification miracle to cleanse the poison. But since you're a god in th of this region, well... Alright, I'll go tell Bradamante and Kuda that you can't compete. Hold on, it's just you and me here now, yes? Hmm? Yes, I believe so. Bradamante and Gouda are both out getting ready. Perfect. You see, I still have one last idea. I think you'll understand if you see it for yourself. Is that... <gasps> what could it be? I guess you can't compete after all. Oh. Quetzalcoatl, it looks like you still need some more time to let the poison run its course. I can let you step into the ring when you're not fully recovered. I know I haven't reclaimed my power, but I can ask a friend to and ally to just sacrifice her life for that. That would go against everything I stand for as a knight. So, even if we can't com keep competing together, that doesn't mean I'm giving up. After I've officially withdrawn, I'll find a new way to pursue my knightly duties. One where I can still hold my head high and... I feel better than ever. For what? Hmm? Uh, that's strange. There's something different about you, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Still, you're wearing a ring costume and your mask. So you must be my partner, right? Different? Why would you think something is different? Can't you see what I'm wearing on my head? Why, who could I be but Quetzal Mask? Right, Master? Oh yeah, you're definitely a wrestler if I've ever seen one. Right? It actually scares me a little, too. But then, of course, it would, seeing as we're both rulers. Our whole existence is the passing on of ruling things, right? So I've always been the ruler of the ring. Poof! Pow! Just look at how nimble I am. You can see the poison's all gone and that I'm in great shape, right? Hey, that's great! I knew that shameful attempt to poison you would be useless against a heart so just. Whoa. What is it, Lord Foe? I'm always glad to hear anything a friend of Lord Merlin has to say. Foe comment. I guess Bradamante is rather too pure to see what's going on. I think it would be best if we didn't just burst her bubble. So, um, I hope you don't mind if I whisper here, but are you serious about this? It, yes, good point. <clears throat> I guess I did get a little bit carried away. I'm calmer now. I asked her if I, she was serious too, Mesh. But she just looked me right in the eye and said I was the only one who could do this. How could I say no to that? So I decided to set aside our religious differences and accept. As her friend, a heroic spirit, and a fellow woman warrior, I felt it was the least I could do. And truly, the thought of having to forfeit because of something so vile and underhanded galls me. It would mean all the work I've done as a coach would be for naught. So I figured cutting loose and engaging in a bit of mild shenanigans would at least be better than doing nothing. 
<laughs> I guess Bradamante's tenacity must have rubbed off on me. And you don't think anyone will catch on? Don't worry. No one else will be able to figure out who I am as long as I keep this mask on. Ketsokata was adamant that masks provide A-rank Noble Phantasm level identity concealment in a lucha match. I'm guessing that's more everyone playing along than in actual effect. Still, are you sure it's okay to pretend like this? Especially after coming so soon after... Especially coming so soon after all the cheating in the last battle. I asked Quetzalcoatl about that myself, and her response was, Sometimes God turns into thi Sometimes gods turn into things they're not just to mess with humans, yes? So, I think it's fine. So on that note, you can call me New Quetzal Mask. Now that I've recovered from being poisoned, I'm back with many more punches and kicks than before. So please, pay it no mind if my fighting style is completely different than it was before. I have to admit, it's nice that wearing this mask means I don't have to be so constantly focused on making sure I exude an aura of saintliness. I don't really get it, but got it. I'll make sure to follow your lead, especially since you only just recovered. Just tell me what I can do to make it easier for you to fight. I will. Now then, let's go kick some ass! Let's see how well this goes over with the ref. <laughs> so, you defeated the American team and the Chinese team, yeah? Well, that's nothing. They may have been the most cruel and sadistic of the four heavenly kings, but we're the wildest and the toughest. Get ready for the biggest twist in this whole event. Just be careful not to keel over from the shock. <gasps> the ref is in the ring as a competitor. We represent the Animal Kingdom. <laughs> I bet you never thought you'd have to fight one of this event's officials. Expected it, actually. And this is my trusty partner. As soon as I saw her, I knew she was the one. Just look at that wild boar on her shoulder. And that outfit, it's perfect for wrestling. I don't think you'll find a better warrior for the Animal Kingdom anywhere in the world. But please do not stare at me. This was all her idea. She convinced me to join by pointing out that a never-ending Christmas would also mean never-ending smiles on children. And I just cannot get used to fighting for a show like this. Well, she seems more embarrassed to be here than anything. But the fact that this team made it this far means that they must be much stronger than they seem. We can't let our guard down around them. Of course not. These are eminently worthy opponents. Yeah, <laughs> Only worthy? Girl, we're this tournament's apex predator. She doesn't have a clue. I had no idea masks really worked this well. Bet you thought I was just Dark Cuckoo's tamed house cat, didn't you? Just thought I was an adorable, diligent kitten running around at her master's bidding. But all this time you were blind to the secret truth. The fact that we totally stole info about all our opponents. That's true. As the one leading all the different teams around and carrying messages between them, Jaguar Warrior would be able to enter each team's training gym without arousing suspicion. That way she could learn who each team's members are, their fighting style, all sorts of information that could give her an advantage in a tournament like this. I took you for a cat, but it seems you're more of a rat. 
Our last opponents were apparently not the only vermin scurrying around this place. I thought... I thought Black Quetzal Mask was trying to hold a fair, legitimate tournament. Are you sure she would approve of you blatantly cheating like this? You know what makes wild animals wild. The fact that they'll do whatever it takes to survive. Would you blame a chameleon for blending in? A possum for playing dead? A sloth for being lazy? No, wait, scratch that last one. Those things actually die if they exert themselves too much. Anywho... Well, since Dark Cuckoo hasn't actually said anything about it all this time, I'm positive she's cool with it, yeah. I have no interest in cowardice or honor. Survival is all that matters. Besides, I'm sure there is a secret place where the results are revealed, or an illegal way to watch the matches. There must be, given that the people appear to be betting on them. What are you talking about? Children often come up to me whenever I'm out in town lately. They ask for my autograph or to shake my hand or if there's any news of a figurine being made of me. I'm told that Mexican children look up to strong wrestlers, so they must know that I am one. <laughs> you should see the way they smile at me. <laughs> and indeed, it is those smiles that I fight for, and they are why I must keep winning. They're all that I need in this world. That's the spirit! Anyway, thanks to my little bit of subterfuge, my spying went perfectly. I know everything about you. Your moves, your combinations, your weaknesses, everything! At this point, the forest fourth dimension, that's our team name, BT, by the way, all but has this in the bag. The Samba counter hold I came up with for this day is so tight you're gonna feel like your limbs are snapping. So go on, dance as much of your silly Samba as you like. It's not like it'll do you any good, yeah. Raises fist. Huh? All right. Did did you not hear me? I said dance all the silly Samba you want. Stepping in closer, fists raised. Huh? Orthodox karate with a super low center of gravity? What happened to the funky samba rhythm, yeah? This isn't how it was supposed to go! What? Being overeager for victory can actually make children dislike you? That is... quite a conundrum. The difference in New Quetzal Mass fighting style really worked in your favor. In retrospect, getting poisoned might have been the best thing to happen for this fight. Oh! <laughs> we won because the Lord is with us. Why else? Agreed! Though I hate to say, you really surprised me. I had no idea you were so good at melee attacks, too. It was almost like watching Coach Martha. She still hasn't realized. She really does take people at her word, doesn't she? Um, is it just me, or does she actually seem holier now? <gasps> Betrayal! The whole time? No way! I feel totally fine after taking a day off to rest, yes! I can even dance a samba at 120% power! Thank goodness.
goodness, I'm so glad you're back to your old self. No need to fill me in. I can tell how the match went just from your mood. Felicidades! Congratulations on your victory. But why does Bradamante look so glum even after you won? She's still reeling from learning that new Quetzal mask was actually Martha all along. Not to mention... Is it wrong that we won with a secret substitute? I'm not sure that's what a holy knight should do. As long as you were not disqualified for cheating, then it doesn't count. No. If it did, we would never have moves like Poison Mist or be able to use corkscrews doing, during bouts. Just so you know, I had my reservations about this too, okay? I even said no at first. But if Quetzalcoatl told you, surely St. Nicholas would want you to fight in a mass to protect his honor, yes. Wouldn't you be inclined to agree with her too? Besides, we can't let the true Santa power fall into the wrong hands and fully s and sully St. Nicholas's name. That's the most important thing here. Cowardice is always a matter of perspective. If winning will serve justice and losing allow injustice, then winning is all that matters. I'm certain even you have fought battles in the past where you didn't always loudly proclaim who you were at the outset. Wait, yes, that's true, but who are you again? Ho ho ho, it's me, Santa Senpai. She came to pay me a visit, yes. I had joined this tournament on behalf of Western Asia, but unfortunately I ended up losing. Didn't you say it was against the rules to have the same Santa two years in a row? Well, yes. But if I had successfully gained the true Santa power, then I would be Neo Santa. Completely different. Surely no one could at take issue with me repeating a year if I underwent a drastic change of image, right? Anyway, it wouldn't be any fun to just pack up and leave now, so with that pesky feline out of the way... I thought this would be a good chance to come see you again, and to get a look at Charlemagne's niece. Hmm? You know His Imperial Majesty? Ooh, ho, ho. Maybe, maybe not. Certain things about my relationships are complex and difficult to define. But, right. Anyway, now that we've won, all's well that ends well. And with Quetzalcoatl back in action, my stress relief, uh, namely being guilted into being your ringer, is over. Well, I wish I could welcome you with, my, with a pot of my famous stew, I'm afraid we just don't have time now. Between Quetzalcoatl's fighting instinct, rehab, and our strat strategy meeting for the next match, there's just too much else on our plate. I'm sorry. Stew, huh? That's too bad. I would have loved to try some, but that's all right. Santa doesn't get hungry. Uh, Santa Senpai, I think you got your inner and outer voices mixed out. Whoops! How silly of me! Ho oh, ho ho! I'll be glad to sample your stew some other time. More importantly, I need to warn you about your next match. You mean you have some info about our opponents in the semifinals? Not exactly. Then again, maybe I do. This is really just a feeling. Call it Sheep's Intuition. Your next match will be the sixth in this tournament, the semifinals. The last hurdle to overcome before presumably facing off with Black Quetzal Mask in the finals. They're bound to be the most skilled team in the tournament. It's not that I doubt you, 
but I expect you're going to have a hard time against them. It doesn't matter how skilled they are. We can handle anything. Between Quetzalcoatl being back in action, the fighting styles Coach Martha taught me, manager slash trainer Gouda's top-notch support, and Lord Fo's sheer adorableness, what I'm trying to say is, I don't think that will be enough. What do you mean? It's simple. If what you have right now is not enough, then you need something more. And I'm certain you already know what that is. Surely it must have crossed your minds at least once or twice before. Can you just tell us what you're talking about? All right then, what you lack is a killer finisher. And unless you can come up with one, you will struggle to win your next match. Ho, ho, ho. Fear. Mish. Her? 